very tar hard times are coming. This is the Elder's Prophecy, All That Will Happen, March 22nd, 2022. The Elder, a Christian Orthodox Elder, said, We will see terrible surprises until the end of the year, and some months from next year, Ukraine is a done deal. The Ukrainian will be closed with bloodshed from both sides and with the involvement of one more country. December 1st, 2022, that's today, Sergei Lavrov of Russia said today that the United States and NATO are directly involved in the conflict in Ukraine, creating a global concern about the upcoming developments in Russia's conflict with Ukraine. 18th of February 2022, the elder said, NATO will move against Russia, but then China will activate and open a new front in the Middle East. Before China starts, we will have micro turbulence in the area of Serbia to keep Russia busy. December 30th of this year, Turkish officials say they are ready for ground military operations in Syria. Erdogan of Turkey ordered order awaiting. Erdogan midweek said, Claw sword is only the beginning. The Russians began to move forces to the Syrian front opposite, opposite the Turks. Armored units and special forces of Iran's Revolutionary Guards are deployed in the past between the Iraqi Kurdistan and Iran on the one border of the two countries. American channels announced that Israel and the U.S. are preparing to strike Iran. March 13, 2021, the elder said, we will have a triple blow, A, Ukraine, B, Iran, C, Syria, Kurds, Turkey, in between the three wars, conflicts. There will be a blow of the Turks in Greece. After the blow of the Turks in Greece, Turkish-occupied Cyprus will be freed. May 8, 2021, the elder said, the third part of the Great War will take place in the Eastern Mediterranean and seven countries will be involved. Something big will happen with Iran. The third part will be accompanied by a great earthquake. March 14, 2022, the elder said, In the Eastern Mediterranean at sea, there will be deadly naval battles. The elder mentioned many times that the Cyprus War will be fought at sea by naval forces of various states. And again, March 14, 2022, the elder said, in the Eastern Mediterranean at sea, there will be deadly naval battles. The elder mentioned many times that Cyprus war will be fought at sea in naval battles forced uh, forces of various nations. April 12, 2022, the elder said, the great powers together with European countries will try to close Russia in the Black Sea by making Turkey close the Straits of the uh, Dardanelles. That's the strait between uh, Istanbul and the eastern part of uh, Istanbul. Hence, the blo to block the warships of the Russians, as was done by Poland, Estonia, Lithuania, and Ukraine, that closed the border with Russia. All this is aimed at trapping Russia. The Russians, seeing that they cannot go down because of the closing of the straits by the Turks, will use three corridors to go to Istanbul, with the Chinese to be, as we said, the hands of the Russians, whatever that means. 18th February 2022, the elder said, besides Ukraine, let us watch Poland and Middle East, the Eastern Mediterranean, the Black Sea and two small states, Russia after Ukraine, Poland, etc. will come down south from the Caspian and from the Black Sea to the Middle East and the Eastern Mediterranean and China from Jordan. And uh, they will move to defend Iran, Iraq, Syria, and the Kurds, and will also strike Turkey from the southern border to clear away for the, uh, the way for the descent of the Russians out of the Black Sea. October 1st, 2019, the elder said, In its passage, Russia will give a bite, quote-unquote, to NATO from the air, sea, and land in the Black Sea and elsewhere. The elder said in 2014, when the Russian hits Ukraine and when the conflict starts for good, Russia, like a wounded bear, will come down south to take revenge on Turkey for helping Ukraine and NATO. Let's remember, Turkey and Russia so far are allies. So something very strange is going to be going on between them. The first, this, this is what he said in 2014. 
Now the first corridor for Russia to go down will be through Serbia with help from China. The Russians going down and heading towards Constantinople, today's Istanbul, will pass through the borders of Albania with Montenegro and Kosovo, pass through the areas of Skondra or Skondra and go down south through the 7th corridor, as the Albanians call it in the time of, Ho um, of um, Hoja. Perhaps it is the Blue Corridor, which corridor joins Egnatia Street of northern Greece and will also pass through. Russia will be like a wounded bear from the betrayals against her to such an extent that they will forget even their faith, for they will be like wild beasts to bring order and restore their name, resulting in disasters that we will see. The second corridor will probably be from the Caspian Sea, bordering Iran, and the Russians will come down south and join the Chinese. The Chinese will move behind the backs of European countries and Turkey, supporting Russia. June 29, 2021, the Elder says, the Archangel Michael will bring great turmoil and put things in their place. He will put them in God's law, and then the Archangel Michael will take over. Everything is over. God's law will be activated in Greece and throughout, as uh, the Archangel Michael will be uh, in charge of this. Elder Monk is here. Erdogan, he says Erdogan will either move against you, or they will put an end to him to put another in his place who will do it. The moment he leaves, the bags of the winds of Aeolus will open against you. Cyprus is David, where he will bring down Turkey, who is Goliath. Patience, the elder monk Ezekiel said. So Cyprus is David, he will bring down uh, Turkey, who is Goliath. Have patience, he said. It will come one after another. With fearness, the people will not have time to catch their breath. They will not have time to see what is happening to them and they will be in a state of shock. So this is uh, uh, quite a, quite detailed, and we see these things setting being set up on the chessboard, don't we? Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. These are the prophecies by Elder Ezekius. Uh, I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.